Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about like well-defined or good binary operations and so let's start as you remember if we have finite set A and A is finite means the cardinality of A is some natural number so uh, it's finite so it means we can count elements uh, then for this set we have n to the n square different binary operations and let's uh, give me your some example. So I already know that if I have z set of integers, I can consider binary operation plus, and my plus is going to be a and b equals a plus b. And first thing, z is infinite. I can use modular arithmetic example, but uh, I think this example is going to be easier in some sense. But you can check all my proofs and all my discussion for modular arithmetic examples. So it's going to be the same. So here what I'm saying, I want by using uh, plus as a binary operation to think about what kind of properties do I have for this binary operation. So let's do first property. We're saying uh, that plus is commutative. Yeah, the plus is commutative. Why? Because you can check that binary operation of A and B equal the binary operation of B and A. Yeah. And why is this true? Because if you will take the binary operation of A and B, it equals A plus B. Yeah. And then by using like certain arguments, uh, you can write this as B plus A. Why? Well, because uh, a and B, let's say just finite numbers, so you're gonna write them as uh, like uh, sum of uh, once A times and plus sum of B, B times. And then you can just uh, move uh, your B to be this part, and then obviously, like this part, this part must be equal to A. Yeah. So by using like this kind of argument, I can say this b times a is equal to binary operation b and a, b plus b and a. So this is commutative. So in some sense, we can talk about operations to be commutative. And let's just take a look what does it mean uh, in table notation. So if I have a set of two elements, what does it mean uh, that my binary operation can be tipped? It means my table, I'm going to be only care about the half of my table, the upper triangle table. Why? Because in this entrance, my BA, X, is going to be equal to the same as AB. So for every entry in lower uh, triangle matrix, I will get the same elements in upper triangle matrix. Okay, so this is commutative. Let's do the next one. Let's do um, binary operation is associative. Oh, sorry. Uh, associative. And what does it mean binary operation is associative? It means if I will take the binary operation of A, B, and we'll take the binary operation of uh, C, is going to be the same as binary operation of uh, yeah binary operation of A and binary operation of B and C. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Binary operation of B and C. Yeah, and why is this true? Because this binary operation is just binary operation of A plus B and C. Yes, and it's equal to binary operation of A plus B plus C. But from other side it's equal to binary operation of A uh, B plus C. Where obviously like this binary operation is equals to this one. Yeah you can see that bin that plus is your associative. So basically it means it doesn't matter in which direction you're gonna add your elements. You can either add first A and B and C or uh, B and C and then A. Okay, so this is associative. The next one, 
uh, we're saying that binary operation the plus has an identity what does it mean that binary operation plus has an identity it means there is exists some element a uh, no let's say is an element uh, e such that if i'm going to take binary operation of uh, e and a i will get my element a but for integers you know that such element is zero why because i will take zero and some integer a i will get as a result zero uh, i will get that zero plus a equals to a yeah so uh, plus is a binary operation they have identity element which in our case is zero so it's, it's identity element Okay, in our last properties that we need to for well-defined binary operations is uh, inverse. And what is an inverse? It's basically saying that uh, for every element, how to, how to explain this? Uh, if I'm going to take some integer a, for this integer a, I will have minus integer a. Such so that is going to be equal to my identity element. So one of these example, you know, in integers, if you're going to take two and you will add minus two, you will get zero. Yeah, and why is this true? Because again, like uh, binary operation of a minus a is just a minus a equals to zero. So you can see like this is uh, the formula that we have defined our binary operation plus. And for this binary operation, it will guide that our binary uh, operation is commutative, is associative. For this binary operation, we have identity element 0. And for this binary operation, uh, for each element a, we can find the inverse a with minus sign that uh, the binary operation will be equal to 0.